How would you like to organize all of your Twitter madness? Organize everything in a nice dashboard where you have your your home timeline feed and you have all of your activity that's going on with all of your followers and you have your messages and you have your notifications and you have your search. You might be thinking, well, the Hootsuite does that, but I'm going to show you something that's maybe even better than Hootsuite for Twitter. So stay tuned. It's coming right up. What's going on guys? My name is Larry Snow and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at something that I have not looked at in probably seven years and that is TweetDeck. And I am pleasantly surprised. Now TweetDeck is something that I was using very early on in my days of Twitter going back to 2010 was probably the last time I used it because I just whoop switched over to Hootsuite and I've been with Hootsuite all along, uh, dipping my toes into Buffer here and there, but primarily I'm a Hootsuite guy and uh, I don't know, I just something occurred to me and said, what about TweetDeck? Whatever happened with TweetDeck? So let's take a look at some of the awesome features that TweetDeck has for you. So in the TweetDeck dashboard, you have multiple multitude of options that you can add to it. All of these columns are separate things. Let me just go you through them really quickly. The home is your timeline specific to your account. Your notifications are specific to that account. Your messages, and then you have the activity. Now the activity is what all of your followers are posting. And let me just uh, minimize that so you can see it all. And then I have a search. And I'm going to show you some other features that search can do in a second. We're going to go over to add a column. So this little plus sign over here on the left hand side, if you want to click on add a column and look at all of the options that you have. So you could just do, do likes or you could add on another search column or you could add in a collection or a list or your mentions, or what's trending. Let's add what's trending. And it's for this account, Lawrence A. Snow. And so this is all what's trending. So I can click on these individual ones and then I can add the column. Uh, so let's see, da, da, da. how about uh, total eclipse of the heart? I have no idea what that's about. Probably something with, about the eclipse that's gonna happen on the 21st here in the United States. And we'll just click on Add Column. And we'll just close, close out of that. So here's our new column, Total Eclipse of the Heart. And we can go in here and say, you know what? I don't want that. I can change, I can change it to something else. So that's one of the awesome features. On the, over on the left-hand side, you have uh, the, the home, the notifications. So it just highlights certain sections that you've already got open. So you can go to messages and it has activity and it has my search. So that's all of your columns. It goes to that specific thing because if you have tons of columns, <laughs> this little left-hand side is gonna get longer and longer and longer this way. And it's gonna be get pushed out further and further and further that way. And so when you click on that particular thing, it's gonna show you It'll take you right to that column. Also going down the left hand side at the very bottom, we can expand or collapse this section. So it gives you like, you know, four activity, five terrorism, gives you a snapshot of that along with the icons that we just reviewed. And then you go down to accounts and then you can uh, edit your profile right from here. Uh, you can click on your lists and, and go in here and you can add that as a column. Uh, you can go into your collections, add that as a column. So much that you can do with TweetDeck. I'm just like blown away at all of this content that you can organize and cut down on the Twitter madness, right? And I think a lot of the things you're probably saying, well, you know, Hootsuite does that, but I like this better. Because with Hootsuite, you get multiple streams, right? So you have a Twitter stream, you have a YouTube stream, you have multiple streams. If you want a clean interface that's just Twitter, nothing, I don't think, to me anyway, beats TweetDeck. So here's where the fun part comes in, I think. It's a lot easier to do in TweetDeck. You can do the same thing in Hootsuite, but it's a lot easier. Let me show you. 
So I have this uh, hashtag terrorism like I always do in all of my open source or uh, social media intelligence tools that I review. And I always have hashtag terrorism just as a baseline, nothing more than that. So here it is, hashtag terrorism. And I click on the uh, little icon there. And if you notice, I have location within 20 kilometers of the city of London. Here's what I can do. I can say, you know what? I don't, I want 10 kilometers. So what it's doing is giving me all the geotag tweets in that 10 kilometer radius. How cool is that? Now in Hootsuite, it's a little bit more complicated. This is just a click of a button and say, you know what? I don't want London. I want, uh, not Blattimore, but Baltimore. Give me Baltimore, Maryland. See what's going on there. And then I don't want 10 kilometers. I want 50 kilometers. Nice big swath of radius. And here are all the tweets. Let me just uh, close that and close that. And here's all those tweets in that radius. 50 kilometers is pretty big. So let me go back in and let me, uh, now again, these are all the geotagged. A lot of people don't geotag their stuff, don't have geotagged accounts. So potentially, you know, your the, the tweets that you might be looking for from an investigator standpoint or a social media intelligence standpoint might not necessarily be there, but still, this is super easy. So what do you think? Is this something you are gonna now use? I bet you will. If you have not used TweetDeck in a long time, like I haven't used in a long time, you're gonna be quite surprised at how efficient this is, how quick it is, connected to Twitter, the fire hose, Everything is right here displayed for you. It's just awesome. This is this is what I have up on my second monitor at all times. With Syph and TweetDeck, I'm all set. So let me know what you think about TweetDeck. Have you tried it? When was the last time you tried it? Are you gonna try it now that I've mentioned it and brought up all the awesomeness that it has? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the content and you like what I'm talking about, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to know more about me, go to LarrySnow.me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!